Hey, Sean here from speedcubicview.com. Let's take a look at the YJ Rainbow Mirror Blocks. Now, before I start, I want to thank speedcubeshop.com for sending me this. You can stop by the store and use discount code QBView to save 10% on your order. Now, this is not the same thing as the mirror blocks you might see from Shangshou. The main difference is even though it has the different shapes on the top, middle, and bottom layer, the sides are all the same on the rainbow one, but on the Shangshou, the sides are all different. So if we did, let's say, a checkerboard pattern with this, and we did a checkerboard pattern with this, here the top and bottom are different, but on the Shangshu, all the sides are, are different. Now you can tell this is mixed up also because of the colors, but as far as the shapes, not all the shapes are different. Now when I got this, I was wondering if there would be an issue with pieces getting mixed up, for example, this piece and this piece, and if there's any parity errors. Now, after a bunch of solving, that is not the case, because these cannot be mixed up. They're more of mirrors of each other, so if this one was here, it wouldn't look the exact same at all. What's nice about this is it has these Florian holes in it, so it corner cuts really well in both directions. Now, I actually had to tighten this because it was really, really loose. The pieces are very similar to what you'd see in a Sulon. So it has some anti-popping mechanism, and the corners are pretty basic, but it is really nice for what you might expect from something that is more of a novelty toy than an actual speed cube. So as far as solving this, even though it doesn't scramble the shapes that much, the colors are much more difficult to solve because they actually look really similar on both sides. So there's a lot of pieces that look similar. Whenever I solved it, I just started on the smaller edge. That way I could at least look for those skinnier pieces and then go from there. This didn't take super long to solve. It was almost the same length of time as the mirror cube. This might even be slightly longer because of the colors. And I must say, I like solving this so much better than the mirror cubes. The reason is, is just, it's much more fluid to solve because the way the pieces are shaped. It's 56 millimeters and has these nice rounded edges, so it's not, so it feels more like a modern cube. And it's just really fun to look at. Though everything looks really crazy when mixed up and lining up the colors as well as the shapes is really nice. Now, Doing something like OLL or PLL is really easy with this as well. So I can see what OLL this is, and it's much easier to solve than what you might expect from just crazy colors all over the place. So I highly, highly recommend this cube. It's a ton of fun, and it's fun to just solve slowly and not try to do as fast as you can. Although if you want to do as fast as you can, go for it, have fun. So stop by speedcubeshop.com to pick this up. You can use discount code QBView to save 10% on your order. Hit like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. Put your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. And as always, stop by speedcubeview.com for more news and reviews.